Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, it's a great pleasure to be part of today's Open Source uh, Policy Summit. Not so long ago, many people would have thought that Open Source uh, was uh, little more than uh, a gig hobby. Most businesses would look at it as a distance threat or as a niche activity intended to push an uh, ideal. Instead, open source proved itself to be a, a success story on how an idea of open collaboration to bring to life new ideas while allowing everyone to benefit from them can also be a viable business case and achieve a significant scale across the world. Open source is, in fact, a long list of success stories. The best high-performance computers in the world are running on open source components. Linux is powering the internet, its servers, and the devices that uh, connect to, uh, to it. All of you attending the summit today have contributed in many ways to this evolution, and I really would like to uh, congratulate each of you for that. Many businesses uh, nowadays are investing in open source to create value for their shareholders. As Open Commissioner, my question is also about a value. How to maximize the value for Europe and, of course, its citizens, and how to choose the best policies to achieve this goal? There are many examples of uh, open source public policies around the world, but we should focus efforts where these policies can make a real impact. How do we embed open source into our public administration to make them more efficient and, of course, resilient? How do we create an uh, enabling framework for the private sector to invest into uh, open source to create collaborative innovation, opportunities and jobs? If open source software has already created many opportunities, newer trends such as uh, open hardware, open computing, Open electronics can be a factor of significant change in many industries and supply chains. Driving these uh, chances and uh, capturing their benefits is uh, a societal challenge we must address. But open source also makes us uh, think differently about uh, our own policies. Cybersecurity of uh, open source is going to be fundamentally different. Scrutinizing artificial intelligence powered by open source may in fact become an uh, easier challenge. So today's summit definitely asked the right question. How do we create a winning open source culture in Europe? And I'm eager to see the answer that will be given to this question. In a few minutes, uh, we will also learn about the results of uh, the study on uh, the impact of open source on technological independence, competitiveness, and innovation. The findings of this uh, study around the discussions you will have today will give us, of course, important input to strengthen our policies and to generate a real value for Europe through open source. So I would like to wish to all of you today a very successful discussion. Thank you.